Parliament debates Brexit this week, I have news for you, we're not leaving. A double crossing deal was stitched up yesterday between Juncker and Mrs May. And then May and Merkel last year too. They did a dirty deal to keep us permanently in the EU. According to the World Connecting Think Tank, the Bruges Group, last July, Merkel, May had a private meeting. And according to the documents, several French, German and Dutch senior officials were called by EU officials to an urgent meeting to say that Merkel and May had reached an agreement on Brexit. The following was an act, the actual transcript of the meeting. One, the agreement was couched in a way to appease the Brexit voters. Two, the agreement would enable May to get rid of those people in her party who were against progress and unity in the EU. Number three, both Merkel and May agreed that the likely course of events would be that the UK would rejoin the EU in full at some point after the next general election. Four, Mrs May agreed to keep as many EU laws and institutions as she could, despite the current groundswell of anti-EU hysteria in Britain and their May's own words, apparently. Number five, Merkel and May agreed that the only realistic future for the, EU, for the UK was within the EU. The original agreement draft was completed in May 2018 in Berlin and then sent to the UK government office marked secret. This agreement draft was authored by the German Chancellor's private office. The German Chancellor told Pr Prime Minister May that this was a deal she would support, though there would need to be some small concessions to the UK to keep the EU happy. The Chancellor had the transcript of that meeting circulated secretly to EU and German embassies. David Davis, the then Brexit Secretary, was kept in the dark. The key EU heads were actually briefed in full the day before the Cabinet meeting at Chequers. So there you have it. We were not Brexit on the 29th of March. We're being lied to. It's a stitch up and we will make the Conservatives pay at the next ballot box. But what price democracy? The angry voters who have been let down over decades. What happens to their trusts? Who will they turn to? Will they ever vote again? This is Janice Atkinson from Inside the EU, 